Um, I'm getting more involved in progression and other things now too. Mm. Uh, so a lot of uh, getting a lot of awesome opportunities to see oh some my God. things that we're working on that are coming down the pipe, and uh, I'm really excited about what's coming up. This is going to be I really. I talk about more than we're allowed to talk about. But All right, as a fuck, player, this is the wrong uh, scene too. Well done, Kyle. Let's get over awesome. there. And we are actually going to talk about some things that you Let's go ahead and mute these weirdos because they're not talking about anything relevant yet. You know, the way that you might expect. But I guess that's how people do on streams. They just milk it, milk it, milk it until it is time to get something actually relevant out. So that's pretty cool. We're going to just keep these bad boys up here in a... Uh, in a little window, probably even pinch it, make it so that we're only getting what we need to see. And then go from there. To anybody who is here, hello, beta testers. Just hoping you're having a fantastic day so far. Um, you know, for once, they tweeted a little bit early, which let everybody know that unlike normal, they actually wanted people to know that they were going to stream you know you want you want a stream that doesn't have as much people in it you let people know as soon as you're about to stream but if you set a date or schedule an upcoming stream that's when you know that they feel confident in whatever they're going to uh to show off i got a lot of footage i was capturing for shit that i'm doing in um in what they call it you know what i mean but the bottom line is uh, if they have some shit to say, I'm willing to listen and definitely interested in what's coming on Tuesday. I also want to plan to stream on Twitch on Tuesday with anybody who is interested in trying out the uh, new champion system. Because I'd love to do that with you and just see... You know, I hate to talk about it because, you know, it's going to make it seem like I'm some kind of... You son of a bitch. You know I was trying to land on the railing. Man. Try to land on this. Try to then land on this. You did it. No! Oh, God. You'll never get up there before it's too late. It'll eject you from this thing. Give up, Kyle. There's no way to get over there in time. <sighs> because I don't give up, damn it. So it looks like I made it to where I want it to be. And that's dope. Ah, uh, I really should have gotten that trailer insured. Although I don't think they come. Yeah. So let's go ahead and unmute these guys and see if they're definitely talking about anything interesting yet. Um, we're still, you know, working on that and everything, but I think you guys are having a, a fine time doing uh, the priority missions. Uh, still working on the mega hives, that's what they're saying. Some of the bigger things, there are a lot of fixes coming in the next week's patch. But, it's uh, funny they say that, you know, we're having a fine time during priority, and they know uh, that. And they know that we would prefer it, you know? I've been thinking about making a video just literally saying how great it is, okay? To not have to do the Mega Hive, because it's not fun. And you, uh, you people should have known better than to try to get away with it. For, for nine months. Oh, Lord. I'm going to read all... This, this is all you, chat. So let me get the chat on screen as well. Sorry, you guys were not represented. Here you go. Uh, Turning it up. Are, you know, once that patch goes live, please report all the issues and bugs uh, that you might run into. Oh, no, I report sure a lot of bugs. It's about whether or not y'all paying attention or not. But I'll tell you what I love about the Reddit. After, you know, Kyle did what he did, people can actually share their uh, bugs. Which is the only reason that I know about this outside the helicarrier's uh, restriction area bug, because that's a very popular thing on the subreddit right now. Wow. Rusty says, Kyle, Mass Effect playthrough. My broke ass, I would play Mass Effect for you in a heartbeat if I had it, but I don't even have Resident Evil. Um, what's another thing I don't have? I don't even have Miles Morales, you know what I mean? I'm the Marvel guy, and I don't have Miles Morales, but, like I said, I needed to play through Spider-Man for Dia. It's a shame that I can actually just talk over these people and know that I'm not covering up them saying anything pertinent because that's no, going to be the whole stream talking about nothing until until eventually they're ready to share something. Jesus Christ. Calix, I don't even know where you are, but whatever. Are they uh, for real? The VR guy is actually in chat, everyone, so if there's any questions that we can't get to, uh, feel free to 
Oof. Ask and hopefully Chris oof, and oof, will, oof, will get oof. to it and see it. a whole stream of this. Um, all right. So. Oof. I'm always here. You're not always here, Calix. I could put the uh, chat actually, in the blue sky, you know what I mean? That's pretty cool. Whatever. Um, all right. So actually, let's just get to, uh, let's get to the first thing. Was he calling out the name of Calix? Ain't that the motherfucker who was telling everybody to delete shit on their hard drive? And they proud to just be name dropping this guy in a stream that people only tuning into because they curious about updates. But y'all spent how much minutes? You know this stream been going on for ten minutes, and they only now flipping up some fucking shit to talk about. That's pretty cool. But you know what? I'm not a live streamer, so I will bow to the fact that yes, there is a likelihood that when people start streaming, they're supposed to wait a while for everybody to get there or something. I don't know. Cosmic Cube is coming in June. Uh, as we always do, yeah, here's their updated roadmap, updated whatever, roadmap. you know what I mean, I'm dying, I'm dying in my heart, I am very sorry for not seeing some of the things you said in chat, so anytime you uh, want me to see something, just say my name and I will address it, Nova Prime says, Kyle, you are a funny man, I really hope that you think so with what I'm mixing up right now in uh, in, a, in Adobe, um, the, the it's not map. Adobe. It's Vegas. Uh, we are working on getting those out to you guys as soon as we can. Uh, in, in, you know, next few weeks, few months, whatever. We know you guys want them. We, we we're want, working on getting out. We to, want to show you guys them out to you. Uh, we are not going to show one. We're not going to show stream. one in today's stream. Sorry. Got it. I know I said this. So Shockmaster says hi, uh, Kyle. How you doing? Not going to stream. Uh, but the standard Yip says, Kyle, will we see Spider-Man? Get that. real. Y'all ain't seeing Spider-Man in this game. To be honest, y'all should be asking yourself the question of whether or not you think Spider-Man's even coming this year. Because you're probably not going to see um, Black Panther before September. That's a year. That's the year anniversary of this game. And that's what I believe. September. You you know? for we, so Craig, on sorry, Craig said, "Fuck yeah, Kyle is back." What you mean back? I was gone. Damn, <laughs> I was gone. Trey said, "Hi, Kyle. I just finished mowing my lawn and was so happy to see you streaming." Well, I'm I'm glad that you even cared about this stream. I like the video. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But for real, I like the video. I guess I'm not kidding. All right. Hello, Linda. How are you doing? Hope you guys keeping it tight, keeping it right. You know, hope your bras aren't pinching you these days. Not just you, Linda, everybody, you know? Don't let your bra pinch you. Damn it. Let's just get straight to it. Get a bra with a better underwire. Nova says, tell us how to do it right now, Kyle. Yeah, you got me fucked up. Nah, if you want to know how to do this, go to the Reddit. Because that's how I learned how to do it. And it's not like something I deliberately did. You know, sometimes we just clip out of the map accidentally. Marvel's Avengers. really, really pumped about this. So... You know, as everybody knows, we've started to do events. Here we day, go. Which we're really excited about that we're starting to do. Those. Really excited. Uh, you know, about starting with our Tachyon event, and then there was kind of protocols. Uh -huh. and now we have next uh, out of the gate is our Red Room Takeover. Okay. So this is building upon the storyline that we were starting to set the narrative there with Sky Protocols, where the Red Room itself is, uh, I'm not going to give away too much of it, but again, it's being taken over, if you will, and it's become uh, more deadly than ever. Uh -huh. And so what's happening here uh, during this event, uh, running, uh, I forget exactly how long, roughly about uh, two-ish weeks or so, we just got to confirm the dates there, but uh, that comes online real soon. It's a whole bunch of unique content for the harm rooms. In fact, five unique harm rooms. Stop telling us that it's it's unique content. If we get into a harm room and it's just red and it's five fucking challenges, that's not, you know, you can say what you want, man. But y'all should show us. And we're also kind of here for, okay, whatever. FNCS says, Kyle, I love... You, I can't stand watching them anymore. I'd much rather be here. Well, I, you know, I, I guess that I'm not, you know, welcome there. It's all about uh, the types of people who, you know, have very choice words to say. And I've been spoken to by a lot of people who show me some screenshots that would blow my mind. And uh, try as they might to erase it, the internet doesn't work like that. I should know. You know what I mean? I'm that bad motherfucker coming at y'all. Jellybean says, if Spider-Man does come this year... It'll probably be in December for the new movie. You think that they like to tie things in with movies? They haven't tied shit in with anything. Halloween came and went, you know what I mean? Uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, her show came and went. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier came and went. If they could have tied things in, they might have, but they can't, so they won't, you know? Spider-Man, if he is ready, will come out as soon as he can because this game's in that kind of a state. 
but forgive me, let me turn this dude up. Some great gear rewards, similar to like we had in the Tachyon event, uh, which is great if you're focused on one hero or you're trying to get some great gear for some of your other heroes as well. On top of that, there's going to be some big XP rewards for the first time. In the event. Here's the thing. As excited as we all are about a Diablo system for a new, you know, uh, way to have post-game progression that should have been here at launch, if they talk about gear too much, it's going to ass blast the game because gear is a real issue in this game because it's almost as if be, it, the fact that it was a looter was an afterthought. There's really basic stuff that this game doesn't have, not just like crafting or re, re um, rolling or things of this nature, but when you can't make builds in the way of loadouts and you can't lock gear so you don't accidentally delete it, it's silly. It's silly, and the game's in so broken a state right now that without reload checkpoint and without backup saves, this game would be, by definition, unplayable, you know? So that's not me being hyper-negative. It is a fact of nature. This is Reload the Checkpoint, the video game, and without it, many people would literally reach a point where they say, I'm not doing this anymore. And to be frank, I um I'm I'm I have my dick in the community deep enough to let all of y'all know that when some people run uh the things that they do to get exotics, when they don't get the exotics that they want, they just go to their backup saves. You know, and, and it's their game, they own it. I'm not um advocating that people use exploits or what the fuck ever, but everything in this game's a fucking exploit. Some of the game's biggest shills will make a video telling you to put yourself offline or back up some bullshit just to get something done. People maxing out their challenge cards as soon as they come out. So what I'm interested on Tuesday and why I'm eager to play with you guys is because they're putting in this new stupid ass system that they think is going to tide somebody over for a minute, right? But people already know the spots they can go to to do certain things, the places that are accidentally gifting them way too much experience you have seen me stream where the bar for my experience just goes up and 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 it seems like i'm leveling up over and over and over and i've told you in the past that i've almost wanted to shut the game down because i was so terrified that it's they're gonna look at my level and be like why did he go up so much finally we have a reason to ban kyle you know your game so broke that that people like me are getting anxious that you're gonna ban me because your game's broken Right, uh, and, and we've kind of had them back to back here, which is fun. And we're learning a lot, uh, seeing how players are engaging with them. We've got a lot of really good positive feedback and response from everybody. But as always, we're, we're, we're reading all your comments, we're listening to your feedback. Are you? Uh, on our own, uh, different members of the dev team, uh -huh. going through the community, okay. Discord, so many different ways to contact us. And it, we, this is really helpful. It really means a lot to us, and we're really always focusing on this. So we'd love to hear. We have other exciting things planned for the future that I can't talk about. Mm -hmm. That being said, uh, hearing from the community, hearing what you guys are really enjoying or areas you think we could uh, expand upon or improve. What I'm really uh, enjoying is not having to do the mega high for exotics. Y'all should keep that in the game. Y'all should keep that in the game. How Caden going to talk about I ain't reading shit when I just spent this whole time responding to comments? Guess who's getting a fresh ban from this motherfucking chat? Because... It's one thing to come in here and just be on that bullshit and be wrong. That's what a lot of people do, especially if they're defenders. But to be using all caps as well, and then using back-to-back -back messages like you're trying to piss in the pool with everybody just trying to chill. You wrong, and you spamming, and you using caps like a child because you really want attention. I'm reading comments of people not in caps. Get the fuck out of here, homie. What the fuck? Very specifically, what you were doing in the Tachyon event versus what you did in the... Y'all ain't tired of embarrassing yourselves every day, man. Running out and saying some shit and then having somebody just smack you in the face oh, yeah, with the truth, know. bro. Because what you're saying isn't isn't real. It's not valid. So you just change the goalpost. Oh, well, it's this new thing. Suck my balls, dude. You crazy. You crazy, baby. You crazy. <laughs> John Stevens says, Kyle, how many heroes do you think are going to... Oh, how many heroes before they cut support? Uh, maybe four. Maybe four. Four, 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 four. Four. That's my uh, hypothesis, my estimate. Jellybean says, Kyle doesn't read chat for four seconds. Whoa, I can't believe this guy. What a son of a bitch. You know what I mean? My bad. Even Let me even roll up and, and uh, get the stuff that I didn't see before I saw his and was like, this motherfucker. Yuri says, Kyle, you think they're going to bring Howard the Duck? Come on, man. Nope, this is single. No, this is a single player thing. Roasted. Is the roasted. One hit kill. 
Yes, it is. Do not mm-hmm. touch it. <laughs> roasted you, but also the enemy D- does well. this yeah. games as a service multiplayer game need more solo modes i think it does y'all better get to the championship system man nobody give a damn about this shit Ooh. john steven says sorry about my poor grammar kyle i'm trying my best to type fast you don't you never need to apologize for sounding like a, a weirdo in this chat um yes i will tease you because you know there's nothing wrong with teasing, but English is not everybody's first language, and we all make mistakes. We all we all lose the uh, fight to the final boss that is the keyboard on occasion. So you know, you about it. You're going to be able to see it just like the others. There will be you know an icon on the war table itself. You won't be able to miss it. Right. We won't be able to miss it. Right. Cool. Okay. Are they replayable? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you think these five little missions they're giving us won't be replayable? Who's asking these kinds of questions? You know what I mean? You know? Can I buy the skin when it comes out? Yes, you sure can. Will I be able to to stream this? Yes, you sure can. Wow. Awesome. Uh, any more questions yeah, about the yeah. red room and we we see a lot of them uh bro later. bro y'all are clowning dude yeah, they lucky but, i got footage so to get move on to you know can't mock anybody and, because uh, it's a personal room, attack on everybody listen this uh product is pretty shoddy and i'm glad that the reddit is no longer uh you know a dictatorship over there with the, the types of mods that have such small dicks that they're chasing like randoms across the internet so people can post their bugs without the fear of being told that they're attacking people yeah it is super challenging i have played it i saw some people super challenging to some guy that you know doesn't have a build that can probably one shot everything which is what you guys have admitted that you're challenge you're trying to stop people being able to do Get on with it, guys. Uh, get on with it. Come on, man. Get um, on with it. Get on with it, guys. But I'm super excited for you guys to try it out. It's, it's you know, one of our events. Uh, get on with it, man. Just in general, you know, we are oh obviously God. working on every single part of the roadmap. Uh, and events are mm. going to be a great thing for us to just give you guys something to do, something interesting to do some call uh, while later. we work on, you know, like the, I guess... More, more bigger pizza and Kenny Smith's and uh, Pepsi and just shot out my nose when you said when the skin uh, comes out can I buy it yes, when the uh, skin comes out today, can uh, I like buy the skin you sure can yes you can uh, buddy great, uh, uh, like if I want to buy uh, like a bunch of skins at once can I do that too you sure can uh, yes you can like if I want to take pictures and put it online will you retweet it you know what we're gonna do that for you right now go buy that skin tweet it to me and i will retweet it oh yeah do you want to be retweeted too buy these skins we will retweet you Woo! photo mode coming at you hey weren't you guys supposed to be talking about something oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah my bad my bad hey have you seen these bugs bugs we fixed those get the fuck out of here (laughs) time to fall baby Uh, oh i thought i was gonna fall through this okay well i thought i was gonna fall through this Okay, well. Oh, again, we wanted to make sure there are uh, events specifically. That being said, um, uh, you know, let us know what you think about it, right? If you'd like, if you're, if you feel important, like, hey, you know, I love this. It was so much fun. I had, you know, I'd love for to play more of this content or have more of this available all the time. Please let us know, right? Um, but that's that's kind of inherently uh, uh, one of the, the goals with the event content, right, is it's active for a period of All time. All right, hear me out, ladies and gentlemen. As a gamer, I can give you my unbiased, unfiltered, real opinion, which, like I said, is very valuable to the types of people who should be selling things to someone. Nothing like somebody telling you what they want and what they purchase because it allows you to inform your development, the way you sculpt your things. It makes you, it makes you privy to what people want and uh, you can make a product that is appealing to them. Kyle thinks the stupidest thing in the thing in the world you can do is pull an Overwatch where you have these seasonal events that come and then they go. 
Your game already has no content, my nigga. There are under 500 people playing this game on PC at times, my nigga. There is no crossplay, my nigga. So for you to come out here and be all like, hey, you know what time it is? It's time for some of this content, but only for a small amount of time. What is content to you? The ability to play as the same character? That's content. And you're taking it away? Sounds dope, right? Let's get into this system, and I'm going to make it big for y'all. Just so y'all can see what's really going on. Finally talking. You're still progressing your, your, your gear and your power level. Uh -huh. um, um, but all of a sudden, experience stops becoming a resource that's really part of your core loop or your, your decision-making process. So the champion levels uh, system, what they do is they expand that. So as soon as you hit 50, you are now um, uh, converting your normally earned experience points into champion experience points. And this is a very long tail. It's a very long system. And again, it was meant to make sure that players are being rewarded for their time and their investment, whether they're focused on a bunch of different heroes or focused on a core hero. We always want to make sure you feel that your time, however you're choosing to engage with the game and the content, uh, you are getting uh, you know, a valuable progression towards, uh, mm -hmm. towards that dedication. So uh, as you advance in your champion uh, 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 levels, you'll see you actually your nameplate will change. Your XP bar will go for the from the normal white XP bar will change to a gold X, XP bar. So you see that you are advancing champion experience points. You will not just display your, your hero level on your nameplate, you also see your champion level in, on the nameplate as well. So again, it's not just for yourself to know, but everyone on your strike team and your friends can also see, oh wow, I have a, a Hulk that's, you know, this champion level, or oh, my Captain America is this champion level. Well, at least they were smart enough to recognize what I'm what I was saying recently is that there needs to be an indication to show other people that you a badass so they're going to incorporate that some way maybe an icon or just a logo to so to show their level i'm seeing pills uk saying oh the reason that they don't have cross play is because sony charges it bro nobody's more aware of the uh the nitty-gritty as it pertains to all of this bullshit coming out with the apple versus epic um lawsuit and yes I think the, the gaming community as a whole, independent of Marvel's Avengers for a minute, needs to be rioting over the fact that Sony is charging people to have uh, crossplay be a thing. Because if it weren't for, uh, you remember back in the day when Fortnite turned on crossplay for a hot minute and then they turned it off because Sony was like, no, 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 no. But they already showed everybody, boom, you can do this. They need to react like that right now. So hopefully Sony can stop being a piece of shit, even though it is in their financial interest to be able to charge everybody because, you know, they on top of the world for now. Sorry for talking over yeah, this. So as you uh, level up again and again, you earn more and more champion levels. Uh -huh. It requires more experience points to reach to the next level. So it takes uh, more time, more dedication in order to advance. And to quickly articu articulate that even better. Uh, every time you level up, it's almost going to cost double the amount of shit to level up again. You know what I mean? But, you know, maybe that's exactly what some people are looking for in the way of time investment. But the real question is going to be, is this game going to be patched in a way where we can't get quick and fast XP? Because the game's so broken that quick and fast XP is available to any and all of us, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to do some testing on Tuesday. Not that I advocate anything, I'm just saying. The gear and the bonuses that you have, right? So you really can add some additional uh, punch or defense. Or Daniel said, do they like money? There's a lot of interesting choices. It's a shame they don't like money. They don't want money, damn. Uh, Sebi asks, what happens when you unlock everything? Are you super OP? <laughs> what is everything? Oh, we made sure that that wouldn't happen. But you will have an advantage, certainly, right? From uh, a level 50 uh, Black Widow versus a max level uh, Black Widow who has maxed out all her champions. So there is a max. Uh, she absolutely will have an advantage. Um, that so there said, is right, a max it's a cooperative game. You're always working on the same team uh, with your friends, right? To take down the various villains and, and progress. I really don't like these, so, dude. Um, yeah, it is. It is meaningful, um, but not so very careful to make sure. That don't tell me what's meaningful. Down. We can be the judge of that. You see how it says permanently yeah. reduced damage from elements and status. That's lame as fuck, man. I think there are enough. Uh, forgive me, I don't remember the exact number, but I believe. You know what I would like? You know what would be cool? You know what would be nice if instead of the, uh, you know, the insider group of um, non gamers that rarely ever play the game on their channel, uh, other than to, you know what I mean? Like, it's clear, you guys can tell that when I do shit, I'm not doing it to try to get, like, views or subs. 
I'm doing shit just to collect stuff, just to get the vibe, to see if things are changing, to try to get this shit fixed by exposing what's wrong. And I can tell you, man, not just because I played Outriders recently and I think they did loot a hell of a lot better, but wouldn't it be cooler if like we had something that like it gave us a, a double charge for our for our um heroics? Wouldn't it be cooler if, like, we could add two to three seconds onto a Unabeam or, you know what I mean? Just, like, maybe your ultimate, like, the area of effect lasts longer. Something like that. That would make a boss encounter really crazy as fuck if you are, you know, high level. But I don't like these whack little, here's this incremental decrease to the amount of status damage you'll take. Come on, man. And it's capped. If you are max level, if you're level 50, all experience points you would earn will now go straight into that system, be converted into that system. And that includes any additional bonuses you might have, such as playing quick match, where you get an XP bonus for playing quick match. That will give you additional, you know, 10%, I believe is the number of uh, XP. Um, I might be wrong on that. I think that was the number. Anyway, all of those bonuses will convert because we're taking the raw XP system and converting that into champion XP. How do the comic books uh, fit into this? this? Per character or account wide? Are they doing anything oh, with the comic books? Mm -hmm. yeah, per hero. Yeah. Um, could you? Uh, there was somebody asking. KD Sweets wanted to know the reason behind champion levels uh, being locked to each hero. Uh, the reason per hero again it, we wanted to make sure there was a uh, your time was always invested whichever hero that you're focusing on right um a lot uh, some players really love to focus on what one are you talking about why it's going to be on one hero player. i hear where you're coming from silver ssj you're saying you want a completely different ultimate altogether yeah man we all on the same page like when outriders came out i was you know showing what that game's capable of even if it in its demo where it had multiple abilities where you choose three and what I would love is if this game, this game hasn't even reached the point where it will allow us to permanently choose multiple of the same hero. I want to have some boys that I can just roll on Iron Man on as a full team, bro. And it would be nice if we all had so many abilities that all of the all of the three abilities that we choose are different among us. You know what I mean? Maybe some of us aren't using Unabeam, you know? Maybe some of us aren't using Hulk, Hulkbuster. It's a real shame. What would be super cool is if when War Machine comes out, the Iron Man and War Machine fucking abilities were interchangeable. And I could kind of build my Iron Man like War Machine, or I could build my War Machine like Iron Man. That should it be cool. If the Echo characters had abilities that they could swap between, between one another, that would be cool. They could have done that with Kate Bishop and Hawkeye, but they gave Hawkeye all these butt fucking ridiculous abilities like teleportation and she's got tech like like that's almost as good if not better than starks bro you took a character that you knew would be boring and like make them a super fucking charged version of this character so whatever whatever i want to know the quality of life updates here if they're gonna like take the caps off the factions and give us some rewards what are we gonna get every time we hit level 50 you know what I mean? And by level 50, I mean every level after level 50. Again, also, uh, Is it just this? Do we get like a little bit of a, are you throwing some polychlor on my way? That'd be nice. That'd be nice. But nobody's going to ask questions like these because the types of assholes they bring behind closed doors, you know the questions they got? Hey, can I buy a new skin and wear that? You sure can. You sure can. Got people on my Twitter talking about... <laughs> Well, it's actually, you know, not the case. And I'm like, bitch, that's what it said. I can read. That's what it said. You know, I can read what it said. It said that it's going to be available in the marketplace. I made a thumbnail saying it's going to be in the marketplace. It is factually correct. And you don't know the future. So I don't even want to wait around to say I told you so when they make it charge. Because, you know, hopefully we should all have moved on by then. Y'all really hoping like Marvel Future Revolution or some kind of weird thing comes out and it can be our new thing because this... <sighs> like I said, I want to play on Tuesday with you, so it's fine, man. Spider, my Iron Man. War and if you do max it out, uh, Where is my War Machine? That's my new gripe. Damn it! Like, shout from the oh yeah. Rooftops, like please. Where's my Captain Marvel? Uh, Damn it! Would, you know, we want to know. Our team wants to know. This is. I want to see screenshots. Exactly. So if you ever want to feel bad for this uh, uh, team of developers, no, no, no. Um, as in K N O W, not N O. Know that if they could, they would have put in uh uh captain marvel they would have done that 
So boy, oh boy, is everything held up. And I'll tell you another thing. I bet you she's pivotal to some kind of weird little DLC that they have coming in the future. And even though I think they should just be dumping heroes into the game and just, you know, saying fuck it to the song and dance, they probably want to wait. They probably want to wait and make it a big deal, but bro, your game ain't got attention like that. And it's not going to get it back when Black Panther comes. I need to just drop some stuff in there. And a lot of things they want to go to as well. They're not here today to talk about it, but... You know, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming down the pipe, so nothing to announce Permanently today. increase the charge um, rate of all heroics by 2.5%. Uh, 2.5%. 2.5%. I'm sure it scales up as we continue to go, but... I know we've all been playing a lot, especially Omega Level Threats. Those are here to give you guys a challenge and part of yeah tell us all about omega level threats and cloning labs and how you're deliberately just making them annoying instead of difficult you are up against yeah we see that you make builds that are really cool so you know to alleviate you a feeling like the time invested was worth it we're just gonna just put these weird little obstacles and roadblocks hey y'all ever fight those one type where like they it, I think it it's like a phase riot bot or something like that, where they just uh, like walk around and you got to wait until they attack asks, uh, all the <laughs> before you can hurt them. That's just cool, uh, right? Yes. Yep. So at, at I should have a clip of a phase riot, riot bot. Let me get that. Let me see if I got a clip of a phase riot bot. Point, that shit is my the, life. Uh, Omega level threat is, that shit is, is my is life. Ready for players to tackle that, having a few champions so, uh, skill points isn't such a bad idea. Definitely make that a uh, you know help with those that difficult encounter. Awesome. Um. Okay. As more questions come in, and there, there's a lot of them. Oh, pop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, they're, they're good questions. They're good questions. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Not bad questions. We can't have that. We will ignore the hell out of bad questions and ban you, buddy. So do these, I think I... How dare you not talk about skins? You got me fucked uh, so up. Do these bo boosts stack together for permanently? Like, if I get a boost melee 1 and go for a boost melee 3, those will stack together? And the answer is yes, right? Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will, mm -hmm. will content like mm -hmm. level of threats go up in difficulty? Uh, they, it is mm -hmm. difficult content. That's the, that's the point of the Omega Threats. It's meant to challenge the community. The uh, Omega level threats will be mad roadblocks, and y'all gonna learn a lesson in a no, big way, baby. I want you to think about the most uh, annoying uh, things in the game. And recognize that that will be what Omega level threats are, okay? So, listen, again, Kyle's the type of guy that at this point has been right so consistently that I'm starting to get, unfortunately, a little bit pompous in how right I am. So, if you think Cosmic Surge, which is the thing that makes it so you guys can't stand close to each other, isn't going to be a big part of Omega level threats, you fucked up. If you think that people not being able to do damage to other people because, you know, they just need to make you not kill people fast is not going to be a part of Omega level threats, you fucked up. You know that one little robot where it's like a drone and it shields everything around it, everything around it? There's going to be a lot of that, trust me. If you think that's not going to be a part of it, you fucked up. And my favorite thing, I don't know what, uh, it's it's uh, it's called a, mo a modification, is that the word I'm looking for? Modifications? Is that what they're called? modifiers sorry it's been so long i used to beg for modifiers and environments in the harm room like eight months ago you know and it's been a long time and i'm starting to just realize this shit ain't gonna happen but one of my favorite modifiers is just like if anything happens you lose heroic <laughs> expect that to be a part of the cloning labs trust me whoa did i say cloning labs <laughs> that's not even coming anytime soon we're talking about omega level threats one thing that's not in the game at a time, Kyle. Jeez, this guy. Scrubs says everyone does love a good montage, indeed. Uh huh. <laughs> Perk chance, let's go. I heard y'all wanted to play as the same hero, bitch. In this game, that is an event, okay? And if you want to do that again, then you need to let us know via feedback. Because we're not sure that that's something that you want to do. We're not sure. Just like we're not sure that anybody is experiencing bugs. We are listening to feedback and we're listening to the community. But we're not sure what you want, okay? Did you want to play as the same character? Is that something that made sense to be in the game from the beginning? I don't know. So we're taking it away now, okay? I hope you learned a lesson. I hope you learned a lesson. Let us know if you want to do that again. The community can literally just stand. There could be literally no one on an opposing side in the community. 
and they would still go, well, let us know. We want to we want we want to know how you feel about it. That's pretty cool. Daniel says, Kyle, where's the stream taking place on Twitch on Twitch? Crystal Dynamics. If you want to hear um, this or watch it after the fact, you're free to go there. Um, OK, so there are a few like gear drop changes coming with the patch on two. yeah i heard about that i heard they're going to yeah, change yeah. gear drops so that there's yeah, way less drops so but hopefully there's less blues at, so let's listen to this game in terms of how we can improve it how we can uh, you know take the game uh, forward and, and really respond to make it a better experience so one of those was uh some of the gear progression in particular and some of it dropping um in that sense that um, players really probably won't notice that much of a change themselves when they're playing it, uh, not noticeable, but there are some behind the scenes happening where a lot of the gear that was dropping that was not valuable to players, right? They were never going to equip it. Um, it wasn't equal or even be or better than what they you had. You mean all of it? it just kind of in the what are you way. talking about? Um, a lot of, uh, less of that will Everything that's not an exotic? What do you mean shit that's not? That players do want is going to start dropping now um, uh, throughout their journey. So that ultimately that means a few less things will drop from moment to moment, but the things that do drop will be more valuable. Sure. There's a lot of play testing and feedback internally. And I'm sure y'all did a lot of play testing. We'll do the real play testing and you can ignore that when it comes out, all right? Uh, progression. As Fucking crazy, around, dude. Uh, you know, leveling up your gear for your heroes. I'm so ready for Tuesday then. And this is just a this is not like everything that we're doing with gear. This is just a change that we're doing. Oh no, this is yeah. just oh, there are lots yep. of They should oh, ask if that things. one lady who's going to sell yet. four items uh, is still going to be selling four items. Again, um you know, we're a game that's always evolving all the time, right? And so when we reach a point with a feature, we're like, it's yeah, this would really trial. be awesome if it goes live. We don't need to wait for some of the other stuff we're working on. Let's Why am I out. supposed to sit here and listen to them say shit like that? I'm supposed to take low-hanging fruit like that and not pick it? A game that's changing all the time? Which game? Which game? Can y'all tell me what y'all talking about? Um, Let me get to this comment section. I'm sorry. I'll answer some things and be quiet so that you guys can uh, listen uh, to. Chat is singing a lot of songs right now. Really important songs. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I okay. The, please, uh, please, guys, please, 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 please. Yo. Um, I think that's it. A question. Where is this? I think that's it. Um, all right. Where? Okay. I have to scroll all the way up. I think that's it. Um, okay, I, I Impact see. Zone said, Ayo Kyle, did they mention your name? I'm pretty sure okay. they said your name. They would so, never say my name uh, after they banned me in that chat. There's, there's more changes coming and you know, I'm one of the biggest you, unfortunate you know, uh, people. Sure unfortunately, are, I am one of the biggest people uh, reporting the, the bullshit in their game. Talk about are, uh, so, Heroes Catalyst. Can you talk a little bit more about damn that? Damn you. Oh, so yeah, nice. absolutely. So again, along the... Uh, the same lines like we're talking they're talking about, about the catalyst the so we're really going to be waiting to see how long until uh, that is uh for uh, purchase system. um uh, and there there's uh, lots of great stuff with that and in particular what we're coming out of the game <sighs> first is we're going to give players uh, give them access to what we're calling damn the hero controller what yeah. the hero catalyst do is when you consume this item it's going to give you a, a a boost to xp uh -uh. Um, however you are obtaining that and this would stack with your quick match yeah. xp bonus so forth and so on Blah. and really our goals here is we really want to give players you know alternate ways to advance their, you know, the Fuck. other uh, heroes in the roster so they can get higher level up. Because as you know, Damn. when you have, if you're playing with friends, but if you're playing with companions, I can get uh, it to where I want it to be. selected a companion that you've leveled up and unlocked more skills, the companion can now use those skills. Um, and now use those abilities. Hey, let's talk about how broken this weird little game is, bro. Uh, in Fortnite, they used to, they used to dish out XB boosts. Fortnite has so many ways to get XB now that basically, every match there's refreshing challenges so when you go in you can do new weird different things to get xp there is never not something you can do in the way of a challenge in fortnite to get xp independent of what you will be getting by just killing people by just harvesting shit blah 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 blah, blah. now what they used to do is when you would get into a party your team would have a bonus 
And if this game were smart, or if they had played any other games that were in the game of as a service space, they might have considered making it so that when people are teamed up, they get an XP boost. And maybe, just maybe, if what they wanted to do is make people backfill empty games, they would make it so quick play gives you even more. So just as an example, hypothetically, say we get a 10% boost for playing with groups, like if I want to just play with my Dia, I get a 10% boost. Even four people, just, just give them a flat 10% boost. And then Quick Match might give you 15%, maybe even 20%. But you people inexperienced. And the problem with inexperience isn't, it's, it's not something that I'm mad at. I'm mad at your inability and refusal to gauge and assess the landscape, bro. People get mad that I am critiquing the product and regarding it as lazy because there are assets already in the game that could have been thrown into other aspects of the game. And you people are seeing that even on a basic level with fucking skins. Why use this hair when another hair would have complemented it better? That shit's already in the game, bro. And if I gave you some soda that you opened and it was flat and you drank it and were like, God, this is fucking terrible. Would I regard that as a personal attack on the person who made the soda? If the label was like, I don't know, falling off as if somebody just taped it on there. Nigga, I don't know what to say with this game. People realize how right I am and they just graduate to trying to attack me, but they can't keep my name out their mouth. And the bottom line is, it's not going to invalidate the truth of what I'm saying. I hope that they find out. You know, unfortunately, that everything I've been saying is right. And I hope that you guys listening to me right now feel empowered to take the bugs that you're seeing and post them everywhere. I'm not saying this to just save people that could potentially come into this game. I am letting you know that shame and a spotlight in situations like this is the only thing that's going to get some of these things fixed. Because they are advertising and pushing their new content, even though it's temporary in some cases. And it goes away and they want your feedback, even though everybody should know that if your game doesn't have content and you're putting content in, that content should stay. It shouldn't be temporary. Your game has nothing in it. Even the end game shit that you were able to do before you cannot do now because it's so buggy that it's been taken out i'm making like meme content right now in sony vegas where like in the time that i was recording it it's not even up to date so i can like double down on dunking on them because one time your mega hive sucked because it was solo now your mega hive sucks because it's not even fucking available and you're also so dense on top of that just to ice the cake of that stupid fucking pie that you don't realize that what is here as an interim or temporary replacement in the way of the iconic missions is something that people would prefer bro people would obviously prefer that this thing stays but just like people being able to play the same hero it doesn't matter how much we prefer that it stays it's going to go Go, because you need more feedback bro it doesn't matter how clear some people are with this game they hear what they want to hear and it better have something to do with skins can i buy this skin and wear it yes you can obama style yes you can working on them they've been doing a really awesome job i really think players again this is this is don't tell me what end game content is bro this is post game progression shit all right it's not end game content it's what should have been in the game so that people won't feel like they've just hit a fucking ceiling and that's it and there's no reason for you to continue playing this is post game progression you telling are you saying that the red room takeover shit is end game content because i'm pretty sure it's just five fucking levels in your harm room that still can't change its environment and i hope that i'm wrong and that the update comes with some kind of new fresh thing where it switches the environment that'd be so cool because they deliberately hid it from the marketing and it would be so different that you finally figured out implementing maybe even environments that were already in the single player into your harm room because this is a discount danger room how you making games in the marvel universe and making shit this fucking lame bro is that a better word than lazy same amount of letters lame 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 harm room no environments no modifiers but this is end game content that's what scott amos said scott amos said this is certainly like end game content oh for real post game progression is end game content strange what about them raids though that everybody was telling me was coming what, what happened to the raids what happened to the cloning labs can y'all tell me about the cloning labs 
Can y'all tell me about the cloning labs? Tell me how that works and what's going on with that and stuff like that. That's really interesting to Kyle. Sasuke said post game regression, baby. Regression. Oh my god. He said he said what? How cool is that to say you get to work on events? Everton said soon. Okay. We have tons of amazing people on our dev team working really hard to make this stuff happen. Nothing is ever simple. It's always a big team effort. So um I, I certainly could talk about uh, different aspects that we're, we're, we're talking about right now, um, as long as you know it's it's a uh, current topic. That being said, I'm not necessarily the expert on all of these things. Example, I am not uh, on the combat team, right? So there were other members of that team who are definitely going to speak to that stuff better than me. Imagine yeah. saying this nine months into a game's life cycle. From the team on when the when team like on, uh, when the so game when the game doesn't like, just not have content. Uh, Content's being removed because of how buggy it is, and, and y'all, and you, you keep, you keep cycling out these people on your streams to say stuff like, L "Listen to how long I've been working in the industry. This isn't a simple thing. Everybody's hard at work. It's coming," and I'm like, "Cool," but I don't think y'all need to do these streams. I know that some of you are very invested in the presence and like the weird, like you have this image of what a cool community might be, but Warframe and these other communities that have these streams, they earned these positions by listening to their fans and establishing good faith in a way where they speak, the fans, the devs listen, bro. People don't feel listened to, which is why these streams get cringier every fucking time. Hit me with something that's relevant. That is a huge delta in terms of some of them are the delta from some of the outfits where we're taking um, an existing outfit and making it cooler or making a variance of the outfit versus making, for instance, like some of the MCU outfits. You mean an asset flip, homie? What you mean taking an outfit and making it cooler? Cooler to who? The niggas who ain't gonna buy it? Because I'm one of them. The people who aren't playing the game? You think the people who ain't playing the game coming back for outfits? Oh, it makes the outfits cooler. It's hard to make uh, any of the outfits. Yeah, there's, there's a big process. And again, it goes all the way from great ideas that come from all over the place right from the team great ideas bro fortnite fortnite has little kids drawing on a piece of paper that make it into the game fortnite has nine-year-olds drawing on a piece of paper and then that skin makes it into their video game can i show you can i show you that kind of stuff you know yeah, you're, you're nine years old. You're drawing on a piece of paper, and then Fortnite's like, "That's cool. I like that idea." Here you go, fan. Here you go, fan. People could roast Fortnite and say it's trash and all this bullshit all you want, man. But it's doing everything better than a game like this at the end of the day, and and for any variety of reasons, you know. What pisses me off, my dude, is if you and me opened up a motherfucking shop, we would look around, not just at what works for the other shops, but we would look and see what people want. Because giving the people what we want is how we make money. You do not get to dictate what people want, remove content that should stay in the game, you know, asset flip, ugly ass skins, you know, there should be votes. Because the crazy part about this game is there are good skins in the game. And if you're going to asset flip or recolor fucking skins, you should use the good ones as templates. But when you take trash skins that are like, uh, and then you give us seven colors of it, what the fuck are you doing? And then you're telling us how long of a process and how complicated it is and it's not simple? Why are you wasting time on it then? Who told you to do that? Who told you to take a blue fucking skin and then make mad color swaps of it? Larson, if you guys, <laughs> if you guys can make that happen, I, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, Brie Larson, know, really like funny, man, really funny. Flash Larion says, Kyle, can you add me in Fortnite? I'm careless menace. I mean, just add me on PS5 or PSN. Say goodbye, Shrek. But thank you guys for coming. We're gonna we do streams every single week. Yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. My bad for talking over it. I just really thought that on Fort. You know what it is. Here's the thing. Can I tell you guys something? And this is going to seem fucked up. This is going to sound fucked up, but the truth of the matter is this. It takes all types of people. It takes all types of people to make the world go round. And this is why when people waste their time talking about Kyle and say how, oh, he has interesting points, but he's just a dick or he's an asshole or some shit. Good motherfucker. Did you know I wasn't making content for you? 
I'm making content for me, baby. One day, Kyle looked out across the plane, across the across what was, and he saw that his voice was not represented. So he jumped up and started saying some things. And the attention that I receive now, as much of it may be hate, there are voices that make their voices known that, hey man, I feel exactly the same way. So if it's not nice enough for you, did you know that there are a lot of other people who will who will treat you like a baby because you didn't get enough affection for your mommy? Go find their channel. Nobody's forcing you to watch this fucking channel. How many times do you embarrass yourself in my comment section saying shit like nobody's forcing you to play this game? I'm playing this game to expose this game because nobody else is being real at the time anyway. People are being real now and I'm so glad and I'm so proud of many of you. But at the time when I started, nobody was telling the truth. As a matter of fact, Kayo has the ability to see what gets removed, what gets hidden, what gets like censored in many places on the internet and when i saw a trend especially on reddit especially on um twitter where they're just going to go ahead and just whitelist these accounts so that they only show up towards the bottom if they show up at all i said no you don't get to silence those people so you can sell your broken fucking product so i started making noise and to hear you fucking unpaid chills have a problem with the way in which i'm articulating my thoughts did i did i know did, did you know that i'm a black man did you know that i'm jamaican Bacon? Did you know that I'm not the kind of asswipe that is desperate to be at your fucking parties or whatever you do to pass your friggin' time? We don't need to be the same. We don't need to act the same. If I am offensive to you, I, I, I promise you, you are not forced to absorb this content. My critique of a product is not an attack on a person. It is a critique of a product. If my vernacular... If the way in which that I come across and, and, and make my points apparent is, is something that is the end of the world, again, bro, you should look at yourself like a bitch because you the one forcing yourself to get into this shit. So I say that to say this. I'm kind of wanting one day that they find a Kyle that is a developer at Crystal Dynamics because every job has a Kyle working there that isn't desperate to be friends with people, that doesn't want to be chummy with his co-workers, that wants to get his fucking job done so he can go home, okay? People make a lot of excuses for these developers implying that, oh, they're just, you know, they're just lowly guys and they don't know what's going on and they're trying their best and their work is being compromised by other people. We all know that, bro. We all know work that's compromised by other people. We all dread the dreaded school project where we are going to be fucked over by everybody else that we are a part of. But guess what? We are also people who have our own struggles and our own things that we go through. And we want to just sit back and pay for something that will grant us an escape, that will allow us to unwind. This doesn't just affect those people, it affects us too. So to invalidate where we're coming from, especially when you're hiding, when you're censoring, when you're you're removing shit that people have to say to try to make this look better so more people can get fucked over, over because we're well, poor developers, bro. Bro, this ain't about them. It's about the product. And if they're partially responsible for this product, cool. But, but what about the gamers, bro? Won't somebody please think of the gamers? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know how people get my my mouth like running because they can't keep my name out theirs you know there would be nobody here to watch it would just be me yelling into a vacuum trust me i'd be doing it regardless of whether or not there was an audience look at my channel's motherfucking history dude i do this for the few people who are interested and even when those people aren't available i still do it because i love it it's a passionate thing that i do it's something that i feel like doing and i'm moved to do and get love and get friggin joy from doing Dia can tell you how embarrassing that it is when I'm editing some of my videos, whether they're Marvel related or not, how I'll just sit there and laugh at myself because I consider myself funny to me. I don't need to be funny to anybody else. I don't need to be amusing to anybody else. I don't need to be entertaining to anybody else. And I sure as hell don't need to jump through your pussy ass hoops and fucking talking exactly the way that you need to speak because the internet is full of fake people already. And if you're looking for more fake people, you can get those niggas. But I want you to know that it is the heart 
of prejudice. What we are witnessing is segregation in the way of them implying that because something's articulated a certain way, it doesn't deserve to be here. I am not deliberately being rude to anybody. I am not intending any malicious or fucking harmful intent. I would never mean to come across in a way that makes it clear that I am saying anything other than my piece as it pertains to your product. So when we all trying to play a game and we falling through the ground, look at Reddit right now and we'll go. Look at Reddit right now and we'll go. Look at Reddit right now. Nah, I'm not going to Reddit. Y'all already know. But you guys may have seen a surge in people going, look, Mikhail, look, I fell through the map. It's the current build. Isn't it, isn't it breaking your heart to see those videos when they pull up the uh, the thing and show you, bro, look. And what kills me is this. You know, what kills me is this. The assets are already in the game. It makes, you, makes you feel like people didn't think about stuff like this. When you release an MCU skin and there's mad clipping, sometimes I watch people emote with the Black Widow skin and like the little weapons that are on her back, they freeze in place. I have videos of this happening. Yesterday I'm playing with you guys and and like our artifacts are staying huge on our hand. Enem enemies are A-posing, not one enemy, multiple enemies. My dude, it is just a, and you don't see them addressing this. You don't see them talking to the community about this. You don't see them hitting you with any kind of bundle the way that they did. And I want you to know something. The game was broken back in the day, but it wasn't so broken that they had to remove motherfucking modes. It wasn't so broken that literally they had to incorporate backup saves because everybody was losing their progress so frequently. Yes, people were losing their progress. Take it from a guy who was really the documentary type of historian for this kind of shit. And I was really absorbing all of that. People were losing their progress, but I'm not going to say it like the way I want to say it what which is is the game a little more broken now than it was before holy shit it feels more broken it feels a little more broken so if you were giving out bundles back then why are we not worth those bundles now I'm not begging for compensation you know because of course the racists that love to talk about me and say how I'm the most hostile motherfucker in the world are gonna equate it to reparations because he a darkie, he a black man. Mm -hmm. But I'm already ahead of y'all because I'm more entertaining. My brain may work a little bit faster than you guys think that it does, bro. And you can silence me and that's fine. You can get rid of me and that's fine. But you won't be able to kill the idea. People a martyr when you know it's only going to put a microphone under their ass. Don't do it. Don't do it. Make it seem like it's not a big deal. Laugh it off. Shrug it off. And other people will be inclined to do the same. But the more you talk, the more you put the fucking, you know, oh, look at this douche. Please, bro. Please, 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 please. So, guys, I love you guys to death. Know that what I do at this point, I'm doing for you guys. And I, I want you to know something. And this is going to be one of the realest things that I ever admit. The one of the big reasons I don't really even want to share some of your stuff is because I don't ever want it to be spun like I'm monetizing your content. Do you know what I mean? But unfortunately, since I have a little bit more attention right now as it pertains to the specific game, you know what I mean? Showing what's happening to you is a great way to just have it out there so that people who are seeking it out can go, whoa, this isn't just happening to this guy. It's happening to like everybody. Come on, man. We want it better. We've been saying it should get better. But the, the way that I logically look at it is this. Everybody likes the priority iconic missions right now giving exotics. But you don't, do you think that they're going to, it would take a real outrage outcry for them to do something about it. Everybody wanted Clint, not, we wanted him to have the hood, but we already knew better. Our bar has been lowered so much by this game, we already expect them to disappoint us. So if we couldn't have the hood, at least give us another hairstyle, those assets are already in the game. We made that clear. We said that to everybody. All the defenders want to group up and say, it's trivial. Huh, how dare you give a damn about the hair? Nigga, this is a paying customers. How you feel is how you feel. You can feel that way and get the fuck out of here. Why do you care so much about how we feel? We're paying for something. Maybe it should reflect what we want it to be like. 
bro. This isn't the only game that's out. This game doesn't exist in a vacuum. Other games give you shit, and it is exactly what you want. It looks like the things that they're trying to be like. You know what I mean? Holy shit. So, this is what I'm saying. If we can't get them to hear us in the way of making priority iconic missions permanent, we can't get them to hear us on hair. Why, why would we expect them to hear us on some of the other things? And that's fine. They can keep ignoring. But you know who's not going to ignore this when all of this comes out, when it's all said and done, bro? I often think about what would happen if Spider-Man didn't come to this game. And they couldn't do it, right? That's what I tell myself. They couldn't do that. Couldn't work out like that. Oh, sorry for all my yelling. I woke up the woman. The big titty Dia. Yeah, I should go follow her on Twitch. I can't. I can't do the Twitch thing because one of one of something would suffer unless I could stream to both. KD Sweets was saying, "Yo, Kyle, how you get out of the helicarrier? I have no instruction on how to do any exploits in the game. There are enough exploits in this game, and I will not instruct you on how to do that. Know that I would if I." thought it was wise but i do not believe that it is wise i saw someone saying that they were slapping their key no nothing nothing go to the reddit go to go to a discord a discord a discord not even mine you know go to a discord and maybe there will be information on how to perform a glitch that allows you to just walk out on the helicarrier which is something nice that people would like that I guess they didn't think to include, you know, since the Helicarrier also is not a uh, a map in the game outside of this one portion of the single player. One of the few iconic Marvel areas in the game we are not allowed to properly explore. Even though they have collision out here, so you can actually stand on this motherfucker. Most of us would assume, you know, we step out here, boom, dead. Fall through the map and that's that. You know, but no, we can walk around out here. We can stand on something. And this is fantastic. You should see some of the footage I have of just me. Um, You're going to see it because I'm releasing this like little waka waka funny video. I'm calling it recolor versus asset flip. So you guys look out for that later. It'll be a funny, bu well, an attempt at comedy when in reality, it's just going to be me teasing this game. Because it can't get its shit together after all of this time, man. Some of that stuff was recorded a long time ago, man. And the photo mode in this game, what the joke. What the joke. People are telling me about uh, Mass Effect right now. And I bet you that has a, a competent photo mode in it, bro. Does it have a better photo mode than this? We'll have to see. Because Horizon Zero Dawn does. Ghost of Tsushima does. Spider-Man does. Two-year-old games, three-year-old games, four-year-old games. Everything in this game feels like an afterthought with the exception of the combat, which holds this thing up like a mighty, a mighty Spider-Man, you know? Guys, I want to address whatever you have to say before I get out of here. I apologize for the quick little rants. It's just the more time that passes of you not being listened to, but then having people say we're listening to you, but then realizing that they're also name dropping the types of people that are telling people to delete their, you know, uh, PS4 shit, because when the game has problems, it must be your fault. It must be your hardware's fault, not the actual game. You know what I mean? That's weird. That's weird. That's weird favoritism, boy, but they have created these clicks. So when they invite specific people out to their little things in the hope of them being able to have the louder voice on the internet, bro, so that they can control that narrative, not how the internet works. But y'all gonna learn one of these days. Y'all gonna learn one way. Beta testers, talk to me. And as I literally address everything you guys have to say, we'll get out of here. Wolfpack Gaming said, Kyle, they literally answered every one of my questions up until I asked if they plan to ever charge for XP boosts. Then they suddenly ghosted me. Huh. People got a lot of shit to say to me about, um, you know, my last thumbnail because I believe in their interpretation. It implies that these will be paid. You know, how can you get that from just a thumbnail? I guess when you when you want to hate, you can hate. Hmm. Damn, I need, a, I need a reason to have a problem with something. And then even then I wouldn't call it hate because I guess I'm a grown up, uh, enough man to know that there's a difference between a strong or passionate even dislike with reason as opposed to just blind anything, whether it's hatred or love or defense, blind defense. Damn, okay. 
So again, time will tell, and I'm eager to see where the game goes. Sasuke says, Kyle, the realest there is, man. Too real for YouTube, you know? Remember back in the day, we used to have Too Hot for TV? And that's why YouTube took off, because it could be what YouTube, what uh, TV wasn't. Yeah, I know the, do you know the origins of YouTube having a lot to do with uh, the Super Bowl and Justin Timberlake ripping out uh, Janet Jackson's titty? Yeah, I don't know that. And it's, it's a part of history that, of course, they will try to cover up. But you can't cover up the titties. You can't stop the sales of Dimitrescu. Sexy, man. But the men are just as sexy. But Insomniac would understand that a hell of a lot better than Crystal Dynamics. We will not put form-fitting clothes on these people. Ugh, that is gross. Okay, take it easy. Take it either. Um, Dark Run says, Kyle, the fact that you are on top of the helicarrier and yet you can't do it in-game. The helicarrier, bro. Can I talk one more time about my, my mode that I wanted? Here's my mode that I wanted. And it worked best with four characters. And I may end the stream with this fantasy mode that Kyle had because I considered myself more imaginative than I guess the people who were making this game. Um, and there it is. You see these like fans? You remember that scene in the movie? Such a kick ass scene! Such a kick ass scene. The first Avengers was dope. So anyway, you got four big ass fans on the helicarrier. What if you had four flying heroes? So let's just say you had Iron Man, War Machine, uh, Captain Marvel, and Thor. And each of these things are one of the little, you know, you have to defend it. You know, like you got to defend scientists and stuff like that. You have to defend it before its health drops too low. And the little diamond indicates uh, how much health it has left. And that, what the fuck? I got to... <laughs> anyway, so uh, imagine... um. Each of these little things out here, can, dude, man, I should save a clip of that. That was scary as fuck. Anyway, um, one of the each of these fans is like a thing that you need to defend, and there's nothing but drones and people coming in. Obviously, it might be very difficult for them because this map is much bigger than the smaller map for the helicarrier in the in the campaign. This this is much 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 bigger. It truly is just set dressing. This this big ass map is really just meant to be seen from the window of the uh you know the deck up there. But uh but you know it'd be nice if each of these fans out here was like a thing we needed to defend. Dude, this is not just like something you glance at. That's a whole ass place out there. And even if we could only go out onto, like, the railings outside, it would make a difference. It would mean something to me. It would mean something to a lot of fans who, when they first had this game come out, they thought that there would be an Avengers Tower. They thought that we'd have N NPCs that were other Marvel heroes. Probably talk to Storm. Probably talk to any X-Men. We could talk to any... How do you do... How do you do a Cap story without Bucky or the Red Skull? How do you do a Thor story where Loki doesn't show himself? It's just a doppelganger of Thor, and then he vanishes, and then you see green footsteps all in service of Kamala Khan? Y'all don't know your audience. And what you've shown us in the eight months since shows that you don't know gaming either. Be one thing if you drop the ball in some of these departments, but to drop them in all? Where are your cloning labs? Where are your Omega level threats? Stop telling us how unique things are. Stop telling us how endgame they are. We will tell you how endgame some shit is, bro. Because you know why I'm eager for Tuesday? Not because I want to see things break, but because my belief, my hypothesis is that there are so many things in place in the game right now that keep the game from breaking that it can easily be manipulated to make it so that people can effectively max out their champion level and there is a max and it is coming KD says yo Kyle how you get out of the hell carrier you know I'll, I'll let y'all know in my own way okay you know wow yo yo let's take a trip to the to the reddit okay on stream very quickly and there's no music you should put on some music Dear, I apologize, girl. I apologize. You know, I shouldn't be waking you up. That's not key. 
Did you sleep well before Kyle started yelling about Marvel's Avengers as usual, this guy? Dia? It was okay. It was okay sleep? Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I wasn't in there. I wasn't, um... Oh, we can read a dev recap. Let's, uh... Let's do that. See if there was pertinent information that Kyle missed while I was talking over everything. Sorry. Um, you know, I'm just hitting puberty. It's okay. You know, I hope that girls let me see their, their boobies at the Sadie Hawkins dance and their khaki pants. There's nothing better. Um, that is a song reference. You know, somebody gonna light me on fire for not knowing. Yeah, I don't even know the damn song reference. In my khaki pants, there's nothing better. Oh, oh, oh. Dev stream recap for... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I'll, hey, 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 get out of the way. Damn. Patch coming Tuesday. The Gamma nerf is coming. No. No MCU skin reveal today. I don't know why that needed to be. Okay. Red Room Takeover has lots of new hazards. Yeah, tell, tell me about all the lots of different layouts. No, that doesn't mean an environment change. I heard one of them five things is going to be like a traversal thing. So if it's going to be an obstacle course, how corny is that? Can you think about how corny that is? I want this to be on the sky so you can see the words a little bit better. Or maybe it should be on the ground. There you go. That's a clean background so you guys can see um, perfectly. Do not let me miss your comments. Let me pull that up. Sorry. Uh, Damn, is this even the right chat? Anthony Aguilar, Kyle, do you like how the Red Room Takeover Part 2 is single player only? You know, I think it's going, I think if they still misstep in now, <laughs> buckle the fuck up. I think we're going to have a rude awakening come Black Panther. And I think the people who go come into this game at Black Panther, yo, you've seen the meme where it's like so, somebody getting crucified and he looks over and he's like, first time? Oh, uh, was it not crucified? Were they just getting hung? I don't know. They were getting hung. Dia knows the meme better than I do. Hmm. Hmm. Well, at least I recognize that I was wrong. Something more than some people are capable of. The mission chains will be rewarding great gear, big XP rewards, upgrade modules, polychloron, and team animated nameplates. Wow. A bunch of people on a card together and then it's an animated nameplate? How cool. No. I want one for individual characters, please. Look at this. We watched a whole last stream thinking they were going to say some stuff. This is the overview. So Spider-Man is still coming this year. That means that they must have slipped that in. Spider-Man is still coming this year. Coo, coo. Spider-Man is still coming this year. Somebody is asking for a link to the Discord. Did Linda not post that? Linda's usually posting that stuff. Pretty sure I saw her comment earlier. I guess not. Maybe I'm crazy. Um, let me send you a um invite straight up in there. Okay. And now we have this. Yeah, and I really want to get this funny video out for all of y'all. Tacky Jones says, Kyle, do you think Spider-Man will even come this year? They just said that he would, so I have to believe that. What, what what you know I'm super interested in is how they're going to have him look and if Sony has a say so that they don't let them stain the blessed and based Spider-Man with their ugly ass design. That's important. And again, remember I also said that Black Panther was beautiful to me, so I wondered if it was the same type of people that usually work on these skins. Um, so if they bring some of that energy to Spider-Man, even if it is different, it might not be awful. But I also believe that Sony should have a say and will have a say in how Spidey looks because that's their bread and butter. The Marvel is our bread and butter, which is why there's passion as much as they try to hide it. I love this. Somebody said Hulk should be able to use a big stone as a shield. It's the kind of thing that stares you in the face and you don't even realize it, but of course he should. Of course he should. Hulk pull a big ass rock out of the ground and he can only hold it over his head and take all the damage in every direction. Nah, son. Imagine if this game was developed by somebody who played Overwatch. Imagine if this game was developed by Insomniac, who makes Spider-Man, or Sucker Punch, who makes Infamous. Pretty sure I saw Wolverine on the subreddit the other day. 
Somebody is showing off the Marvel Iron Man glitch on the subreddit. And if the mods on the subreddit believe that it should stay here, who am I to, uh, you know, hit anybody with any kind of bing bong? So we're just going to enjoy their glitch. Seems like they get onto the helicarrier, board the Hulkbuster. And then somehow just, you know, wow. He's, he's, he's the Hulkbuster on the helicarrier. I already got all this footage. I got a bunch of footage. What's up, Tony? Oh my god. Look at this guy. Oh my, he's a king. He's a king. Okay, so let me show you my uh, game right now really quick. Because I want to show you someone that Dia and I have affectionately named Easter Egg Man. You know? If this were any other game, when we're always falling out of the map and clipping out and enemies are still or they're spawning under the map and all kind of bullshit like this, there would be some Easter eggs for us to find. Not in this game. They, they got their hands full, baby. Baby. Holy shit. No, let me get you, son of a bitch. Okay. Eh. All right. So now that I'm out, peep this motherfucker. Who the fuck? <laughs> This is good. That's as much as you can zoom in in this game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break it to you guys. And it will not let me walk over him either. Because, like, um, you know, there's, like, ground here for some reason. I don't know what to say. But, and guys, behold, Easter Egg Man. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Like, the screen went black for a second. You better stop playing around. You can fuck with your own uh, game. Okay, there he is. Easter Egg Man for you guys. You know? That's how some of us feel, you know? That's how some of us feel. People are like, hey, you want to play Marvel's Avengers? And you're like, what? Ugh. What? what? <laughs> Guys, I, um, I love you. I want the best for you. I hope you guys have a good time with what's coming. I'm going to be streaming. Going to be streaming on uh, Twitch, too, to try to get this, uh, to try to get some fun out of this upcoming champion thing. Because it looks like it's just Diablo all over again. But this game may be made for the types of people who play games, man, casually, I guess? Nice butt, Dia. What's going on over there? You feel icky? Oh, because of the heat? Oh, wow. You look a little different from this angle. Mm -hmm. Your body look different. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, let me see here. Malachi was saying, Kyle the Messiah, please. Dr. Spook, how do I find your Discord? I hope I posted the link. If I didn't forget, like an idiot. Traeger says, D Kyle deserves a drop. Whoa, I don't want to. Nobody, none of us want to drop at Crystal. And guys, here's something that I really, 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 really want you to take to heart. It's not that they don't hear or see the feedback. It's not that they don't know the problems. It's that it is in their best interest to shut the hell up about it. They ain't going to be selling this game by opening their mouth and admitting to the fact that their game is one of the buggiest fucking games that has probably come out in recent history. This is nuts. You know? And I'm getting in trouble because people are hearing me say something passionate that a typical gamer would do. Kyle has nothing but heated gamer moments, bro. So now people get attention by just talking to me, talking about me. And I'm not, I would never imply that they're quote clout chasing. It's just like Avengers hater lol. Yeah, man, come on. Love the Avengers game. Misa love the game. Do you, sir? A little bit of Jar Jar Banks for you. Red Pulse says, Kyle, what do you think the Red Room will, will be overall? It, hopefully there's a surprise in there for us, guys, because if it's just a Red Room and it's five different little sp special rooms that you play and never play again, here's the way you got to look at it. None of us have any use for the red room right now. The Not the red room, the harm room. The harm room is the type of place that a lot of people don't even finish. Because why the fuck they want to play in a blue room? That room, as I've said to you in the past, is a space that the developers used when they were first making the game to test out characters. When they were first making... 
Wait, Kyle is very cool. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Okay, Kyle won't. Kyle, Kyle's not really susceptible to that head beginning. Like I make my own head big, but you guys can't do that because because I know that I'm not that great on the inside. <laughs> Give me a sad song, Dia. What's a really sad song? Say something. I'm giving up on you. I'm gonna work that into the video somehow. Tacky Jones says, Kyle, do you think Spider-Man will even come this year? Whoa, you're way behind. What the fuck? Listen, Daniel said, Kyle disabling a Twitch account and deleted after six months. I'm not sure. And uh, and if I didn't drop the Discord, I'm an idiot. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. See, this is why I don't want to play this game. Because everybody going to imply that I'm hacking. This ain't hacking, homie. It's fucking game. Like I, if I wanted to, if I wanted to be a dick, I would tell you that there are three ways that I know to get out of the helicarrier, and two ways that I know how to get out of the ant hill. The only place that I haven't really—that's a damn lie. I used to post videos of me getting out of the substation as well, but that was when it was easy and you could just uppercut with uh, Stark. Stark used to be able to uppercut and you could just get right out of the um, substation or whatever. But uh, but nah, man. Getting out of the map ain't nothing. And this is not anything that injures the game either. What injures the game is, uh, is you know, enemy spawning beneath the map, respawning or reloading the checkpoint and people can't even finish. You know, one thing that recently happened to me a couple of times, I told you I had about seven clips of it, was when I would play and the mission would just end as if the level kind of gave up. And I love that. Um, I'm, I, I apologize for not being more positive and saying straight up that's a good thing and if i had to hold up two good things the fact that your level can at least recognize that it's broken and just end it for the player and grant them whatever rewards comes with it that's a great addition so whoever is in charge of making it so that the game can read the state and recognize oh no good good and i know it's fucking stupid and funny in a way the idea that you load into a level and then the game's just like i give up and and then it, it's over but it's still great you know what i mean um just like the priority iconic missions i don't think there's anything that everybody can come together and agree on anymore i felt motivated to jump on and play this mission knowing that it wouldn't take a bunch of different fucking heroic gauntlet tiers of me just going through the same thing and then doing it solo as well. I don't have a lot of exotics because I like to punish myself in specific ways, not in the ways you want me to punish myself, bro. <laughs> Spider-Man, I feel like, you know what? First of all, Kyle, check yourself because I bet you there's a bunch of people that name themselves Spider-Man within the Marvel's uh, community. Marvel's. I'm turning into a black dude in a Key and Peel sketch where I put an S after everybody. Hey, man. Y'all know that dude, Jax Blacks? Dia, you like Jax Blacks? <laughs> Pingo Pongo. Where the hell do you find stuff like this? Twitter. Why would you show that to me right now, sweetie? It's not funny either. This is why. This is why. Thank you, Mountain Dew right Dorito. Okay, people are gonna really, really start to put the pieces together with you now. Um, for all of the people that for some reason like to meme me as just being a dude about exclusively big titties, when I try to make it, you know, apparent to anybody listening for the first time that I am not bought out. I'm not a shill. I'm not um, you know. Somebody that's really trying hard to make it on YouTube. Otherwise, I'd play by their rules and I'd never swear and all kind of stuff like that. So I throw in a titty every now and then. Yes, unfortunately, Diddy, Diddy, Dia has big ass titties. And I want y'all to know that's not what it is about her that appeals to me. She's weird. That's what appeals to me about her. And just now in the middle of the stream, she extends her phone to my face and it's a picture of a doge, you know, like a normal doge. And the caption reads, you talking mad shit for a dude in cum shot distance. And I'm like, what did I just read? It was in response to someone saying something. Oh, somebody said something in stream? No, 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 in Twitter. Okay. Someone said something in Twitter, but it was deleted. And this guy replied to that tweet with that. 
SSJ Boy was saying a simple <laughs> Spider Man Salt, very funny. <laughs> Are you just making up new names to subscribe, my man? You're doing God's work, man. You're doing God's work. Sometimes I used to, yo, I used to get a lot of people that would just make weird things. Uh, a username just to have it flash up on screen and I would wonder is this going to get me in trouble? Are these fake accounts that some guy is making going to get me in trouble? The same way that I wonder is this game going to get me in trouble for simply playing it? Could I fall? I really could fall in between that little gap. Well guys I don't think there's a more organic way to end this stream. Wow I had the list up too. Stupid KL. Well you know I uh damn Beef Mick Joe, how are you guys even finding the uh, the Twitch? Unless, so yeah, sorry, I just wanted to stream this and give you a place to do this, and I might as well be real and say that I'll stream them all in the future, and I promise I won't talk as much, even though it is kind of cringe. Okay, so there's the Twitch link in case you want to be a part of that. But remember, come Tuesday, I want to play with you guys as well for the reset. Look at Stark and his no helmet on face we should have a button that just brings that visor up and then if there ever is a space map and we can bring the visor up we should just die we should just die dear whatever godslave says the truth send friends requests psn godslave but i barely play an hour a day yeah y'all should take it easy take it easy till tuesday give yourself something to do hey here's a good question do you think that on the Tuesday reset, they will make it so that things reset again so that you can get double the rewards than you would get for, um, you know, for the week? Like, let's say it resets on Tuesday so you can get rewards and then it resets on Thursday so you can get rewards again. Just something to think about, you know, for the people who actually do play this game. And for the people who do play this game, what y'all need to do is tell me how to build a class that doesn't suck. Because, of course, all I'm going after is a bunch of precision. Look at that, 128 increased critical attack damage from all weapons. That was one of the few things that I got when the game first started by messing with the vendors. And by messing with the vendors, I mean poking them and saying, hey, hey, give me something good. Up, Recon. You know, I appreciate that you're up instead of down, Recon. See what I did there, Dia? That's why they pay me the few bucks, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, I love you to death. I will see you guys. Spider-Man's third alt. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, not having a space in between some things will do some things to my brain. One day y'all gonna short circuit me on stream and I'm gonna say the wrong thing. I like girls with, with small boobs. What? No. What did I say? And, and Dio, Dio just starts screaming, what? Still can't believe what Dia showed me. You talking mad shit for somebody in expletive distance man y'all are synchronized ladies these ladies synchronized with the work that they're doing on their little tablets how do you guys do it hmm what are you doing in here jury's out huh mixing something together sure as hell not making me a nice soup that is for damn sure wait until you see me finish this video i'm gonna go i'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck off and finish that video because i want to get it out not today, because it's already 6.33 p.m. <sighs> Whatever. Love you all. I will catch y'all later. Uh, go follow the Twitch. Jump into the Discord. And uh, take it easy. Watch out for that video coming. Love you. And I hope everything works out for the better. Damn. I'm sorry for putting Spider-Man in the thing. You know, it's not fun to tease this game. It is fun. Who said that? I'm going to put cloning labs in the next one. <laughs>